Morning Live with Mike Nikitas, Leslie Gatiss, Shannon Ogden, and Matt Noyes with weather. This is Good Morning Live on NECN. And good morning to you. 8 o'clock on Thursday morning. It's May 19th. Thanks for joining us this morning on Good Morning Live. And if you saw the Star Wars movie at 12.01, you're probably sleeping in, so you're not <laughs> yeah, watching. Yeah, not going to work. Playing Wookie Hooky. <laughs> we have uh, with us, we were just chatting with him. We'll introduce you to him in just a couple of minutes. And his artwork, Opie Otterstad. He's a sports artist, a beautiful artist. And uh, this is his piece, uh, commissioned by Major League Baseball, of the Boston Red Sox World Series celebration. And uh, the interesting thing is he does not do this reproducing it from a photograph. He, it's his interpretation of it. So we're going to talk to him and show a lot more of his artwork. He's yeah. in Boston from Texas. The original painting of that is already it's set right up here, in the studio, yeah, so, we'll so stick around for that. What do Bill Clinton, George Bush Sr., and a handful of members of the Boston Red Sox all have in common? Hmm. Well, if you answered, they all own a painting done by the sports artist Opie Otterstad. You're right. And Opie Otterstad is here in Boston showing his work, and he's here with us this morning on Good Morning Live. Good morning, Opie. Good morning. Uh, now, you uh, were, um, I guess, licensed to uh, paint the Red Sox celebration Correct. Uh, after the World Series, uh, and you did that uh, without doing it from a photo. W you know, why, why do you work like that? It's well, beautiful stuff, by the way. Thank you. You're it, welcome. Um, actually, the pieces are, uh, the way that I work is I get an idea kind of what I want to portray and then uh, uh, look at you know hundreds and hundreds of different photos and take arms from here and legs from here and faces from here or you know even entire bodies and kind of Frankenstein them together in uh, Photoshop and then and then from there comes the painting. There comes the painting. Okay, now this piece right here is, is the one we're talking about. I understand the original is, is, uh, has a certain size and there's a specific reason for that. What is it? Right, it's 86 inches tall by 55 inches wide and you know one, one inch for every year of Red Sox pain and tears. Now, <laughs> so even though you're a Texan, you're a Red Sox fan. Yes. You're a Red Sox fan. Okay. We have some more of your work and we're going to take a look at some of that. I is the idea then um, for you to recreate what happened or is it your interpretation of the, the intensity and the moment of what happened? Well, it, it, if you look at the piece and, and it's all interpretive, um, you know, the um, the pile, the way it happened, is actually not exactly the way it happened. I moved guys around from here and there, just you know, different guys that I wanted to show doing you know different things in different parts of the pile, highlighting you know specific players and whatnot, and omitting others. And you know, that's just you're you working in a limited amount of space, and and some guys don't don't get in it. And now let's see, did you take out Mankiewicz because of that ball thing, or no? He's no, in there. he's <laughs> in there with his head down, kind of buried with Folk there and and uh, Jason Baratek. Uh, we have some more. We took a look at some of them as you were speaking there, and uh, we have some more of your paintings. Uh, what turns you on about sports specifically? Well, when when you're dealing with sports, you're dealing with uh, uh, a lot of movement, a lot of motion, a lot of uh, kind of uninhibited emotion. You know, there's not a lot of posing. It's very, um, you know, take it as it comes kind of. Uh, raw emotion and I, I really like that and then there's a lot of color there's a lot of you know color grace beauty I mean sports has has a lot of things that are very paintable you're a baseball historian I saw the previous piece that we just showed and and we have this uh, this is Babe Ruth right yeah it's actually from uh, uh, it tells the story of of Babe Ruth in 19 uh, in the early part of his career when he was in a, actually in a motion picture and I pictured these uh, the you know a child walking by as the the billboard guys putting up the sheets of the poster and uh, you know he sees the bee and a baseball bat a portion of a bat and then as the billboard guys putting up strip by strip the crowd grows bigger and bigger hey oh, come on yeah. come see quick and and it's Babe Ruth and oh what's you know so they're waiting for basically you know to see what it's all about now all of these uh, professional athletes, and here's another Fenway Park scene, this is gorgeous, uh, all 150 professional athletes, I mean, I'm looking at this list, the Nike Corporation, all these big companies, they all own your stuff. Presidents, yeah. it's got to make you feel pretty good. Yeah, it's, uh, well, for being, as an artist, for being a young man, it, uh, it's, it's been quite a ride. Yeah. Now, uh, you're in Boston, you're from Texas, where can people see your stuff and look at it this week? Uh, tonight, uh, 
at Newberry Fine Arts, 29 Newberry Street. We're having a full show open to the public, um, about 25 different works, a lot of them Boston related, a lot of them kind of nostalgic related, as you saw on the mm -hmm. screen. And, um, and then even a, a big Patriots piece, I think, is getting here from California oh, today. So um, Looking forward to that one. Yeah. It, Get a little Patriots in there, too. A little Patriots in there, too. A little football. So, Opie Otterstad, thank you so much for being here, and good luck with your career. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome.